Welcome to On The Wire from the William Hill World Darts Championship at Alexandra Palace. I'm Dan Dawson and Rod Harrington's alongside me. Coming up on the show, uh, we've got Dave Chisnell taking part in Countdown. Uh, we're going to meet another one of our William Hill dancing girls and we've got a brand new feature featuring the reigning Lakeside World Champion Stephen Bunting. I've not seen it myself, I'm told it is awesome, I cannot wait for it. Uh, but we're going to start with the darts. Uh, Raymond Van Barneveld, the Premier League champion, a 167 and a 170 checkout. He took Roby John Rodriguez to the cleaners. It was very, very impressive. And our man Dave Allen spoke to him after the match. Uh, I practiced hard, uh, I told you earlier. Um, six hours a day. Uh, I played Dirk van Dijverbode, Ron Molenkamp, Ryan de Vrede, uh, Jeffrey de Swan. All, all great players in Holland. Uh, every single day we did the same routine, you know, practice best of five sets, best of nine sets, best of 13 sets. And I played well, uh, a couple of 10 darters, 11 darters, I missed a nine dart the other day. So uh, I went back to the uh, Premier League setup with the darts, uh, when I won the Premier League with and then the World Cup of darts. And well, at the end, the darts hit me and uh, 167, 170 tonight, so I'm really happy. Six hours practice a day. It's showing, certainly. Raymond van Barneveld, how good was that textbook? Absolutely brilliant. There's nothing better when Barney's on form. You know, that nice fluent throw. He's always putting himself down, and that's why he's been in the doldrums, in and out of form. Um, but tonight, he's gone back to the setup that he was winning tournaments with, which I think is the perfect setup. But he had the right attitude, and Barney was a smiling. And when Barney smiles, his opponents better look out. Yeah, my big tip from Roby John to frighten the life out of him never really materialised. Never mind, uh, I was very, very impressed with Michael Smith, a 3-1 winner against Mensal Sulevich. Sulevich averaged 98, he really put him under sustained pressure and he didn't beat himself up about it, he just got on with a job. The word I've used to describe him today is mature, a very mature display from him. Totally agree, Dan. I mean, after his two uh, TV performances, he played absolutely terrible. His attitude stunk, I have to say that. His manager, Gary Anderson, uh, had a go at him, and their manager had a go at him. A few of the professionals had a go at him. I had a go at him. You know, you can't do that when you're coming through the game. It doesn't work. But tonight, he just got on with the game. He concentrated, and he played absolutely brilliant. We know he's got the game to win a World Championship. Whether it'll be this one or not, we'll have to see. Fascinating stuff. The other game we should mention is Jamie Caven, who is a 3-2 winner over Jason Hogg. He sets up a tie with Barney after Christmas. And if you remember 12 months ago, those two played each other. It was a belter. Now, time for this. Reveal today's countdown conundrum. Kirk, by concave. Right, let's see. Ah, oh, brilliant. Well done. That is PDC referee Kirk Bevins, Countdown Octo Champ and all-round genius. But surely he's not the only person in professional darts who can do that sort of thing? Gosh. I don't know what that is. No, I can't get that. I thought you were going to say that shit, but... I don't know what it is. All right. So, Chizzy, not quite as good as Kirk, but never mind. Kirk can't throw darts like Chizzy can. <laughs> so he uh, certainly can't. Um, anyway, I think it's time to meet another one of our William Hill dancing girls. John McDonald has that job. So we're back with the William Hill dancers and uh, joining me now is Paige. Paige, first time I understand? Yes, first time. Not first time dancing live? No, 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 no. But first time at the William Hill World Championship? Yeah, at the William Hill, yeah. You've already done one, two, three routines, I think. Yeah. How are you settling in? Quite hot. It's 
quite nervy. There's so many people out there, so it's a bit nervy, but it's all good. It's fun. It's good fun. Do you notice that when we walk on together, mm -hmm. you get the biggest cheer, not me? I don't know. Do we? Do we? I think you do. So how long have you been dancing? Um, since I was about three. Okay, how many years is that? Uh, well, I'm 18 now. So okay, so 15 years. 15 years, 15 years of dancer, why? Mm -hmm. Goodness me. <laughs> uh, show me your favourite move, please. Um, I don't really know, I don't really have one. What, do you do like a spin or a Michael Jackson backward walk or something? No, I, I, mean... I do like a slap drop. Okay, that, that'll do for me. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work on camera, but we're going to have a look at the slap drop. <laughs> Shall Doesn't... I do it? Yeah, why not? Doesn't, okay, it doesn't just involve go me. like that and then you rip it up. <laughs> well, I've got to be honest. I'm not having a go at that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paige. <laughs> right, listen up. I said, listen up. My first bet of day six, Vincent van der Voort against John Henderson. Over 16.5 legs. Brilliant odds. Gonna go at least four sets. Mervyn King against the young German, Max Hopp. Under 15.5 legs, King, brilliant form, and that's brilliant odds. The double world champions up next, Adrian Lewis against the young man, David Pallet. Lewis all the way. Back Lewis to hit the most 180s on the night. What about that? So, one more night of first round action before the Christmas break. We've got some big, big names saved for the final night of action as well. Stephen Bunting on the way, uh, more of that in a moment. Uh, Adrian Lewis, the two-time world champion against Dave Pallet. And Mervyn King, who's in great form against Max Hopp. So, Lewis and King, both taking on young, up-and-coming players. Do you see that they could be overturned by those guys? Not at all at the moment. I mean, Mervyn King coming at this tournament has been playing absolutely brilliant for a good six months. He's a solid player, he's got a great all-round game uh, and that's what will get Mervyn King through. And A.D. Lewis, I'm expecting a lot from A.D. Lewis, he's, as we said so many times, Keith Deller's now back to being his manager so he's going to keep him focused and he's, uh, the word is he's really looking forward to it so I think convincing wins by both of them. There you go, we also get to see the giant heed of uh, Huntley's John Henderson taking on Vincent van der Voort and of course Stephen Bunting taking on one of the international qualifiers. Now I'm really looking forward to this, it's our new feature featuring Stephen Bunting. What am I going to do with this? So, just a name then. Needs some work. See you tomorrow. <laughs>